What if Silvio Dante woke up from his coma? But first, how did we get here? This war between the DeMeo and Lupertazzi crime families was sparked by a series of events that took place over the course of the show's fifth and sixth seasons. You get word to everybody, eyes in the back of your head, break routines, collections, all that shit. You tell everybody. Got it. In season six, episode 20, The Blue Comet, Syl and Patsy are leaving the Bing. They're trying to get out of there as fast as possible because they know that people are onto them. But unfortunately, just as they're pulling out of the parking lot, two hitmen from the Lubertazzi family are pulling in. Syl gets hit multiple times, but at the very least, he does manage to make it to the hospital alive. Patsy, on the other hand, was able to get out and run away. So what exactly does it mean to be in a coma? A coma means that a person is unconscious with minimal brain activity. Sale may have fallen into a coma from severe blood loss from the gunshot wounds, which cause a drop in blood pressure and loss of oxygen to the brain. Doctors assess their level of consciousness using a tool called the Glasgow Coma Scale, which assesses three things. Eye opening, verbal response to a command, and voluntary movements in response to a command. With eye opening, a score of 1 means there's no eye opening, and a score of 4 means the patient's eyes are opening spontaneously. With verbal responses to commands, a score of 1 means there's no response, and a score of 5 means a patient is alert and talking. With voluntary movements in response to commands, a score of 1 means there's no response, and a score of 6 means that a patient is obeying commands. Most people in a coma will have a total score of 8 or less, and the lower the score, the more likely it is that someone's experienced more severe brain damage and could be less likely to recover. Let's say Cell does recover. What's the state of play that we're looking at? What I'm thinking, you'd supply a neutral location. I could do that. We get a dead Guman in Queens and an old Ukrainian father. You hit my brother-in-law. She's got to see something out of this. We agree. It's gone too far. You got my word. We'll back off. Here are the guys on the New Jersey side that are alive as of the finale. Benny Fazio, Walden Belfiore, Dante Greco, Carlo Gervasi, Polly Walnuts, Patsy Parisi, Little Polly, and Tony Maffei. One huge variable in this equation is the status of Tony after Holston's. Tony could have been shot at Holston's, or nothing could have happened at Holston's, or anything in between. This also assumes that Tony isn't already dead as the series finale starts. I won't go down that rabbit hole today, but just wanted to note that. The times make the man, honey, not the other way around. I think Gabby touches on something important here when she says the times make the man, honey, not the other way around. If Tony's still alive and well, Syl wouldn't try to get the position of boss. But if Tony's not in the picture, completely different story. And in that sense, the times make the man, honey. Meaning, maybe Syl would step up. Though it's possible that after she sees Syl in a coma, she could feel differently. Oh. And then we'd have to consider guys like Polly and Patsy, what they would do if Syl was still in the picture, because as of the finale, they're calculating everything, assuming that Syl's never going to recover. It's all yours. And then there's also the Carlo angle. In the series finale, Tony tells Carmela that Carlo is going to testify. We know that one of his sons got busted for selling drugs, so he may be making a deal with them to give up information about Tony and their crew. We don't know for sure what Carlo has said or hasn't said, so to the extent that any of that would involve Syl, perhaps 
he'd be at risk, but they were never really going after Syl anyway, so I think that would be mostly concentrated on Tony. Not like we haven't envisioned this day. No, no it's not. Let's look at the Lupertazzi family side. We never get confirmation of who the official boss is after Phil Leotardo's death, but let's assume it was Butchie. And you used to sell laser printers out the back of your Crown Vic. What, are you speak Norwegian? If Syl had woken up from his coma, we may have never gotten Lilyhammer. I'm mostly kidding, but not for nothing. Lilyhammer does seem like a pretty cool coma dream for someone to have. Lilyhammer, of course, is the Netflix series that Stevie Van Zant stars in that ran for three seasons on Netflix, where he's essentially a mobster that goes into hiding and win his protection by moving to Norway and starting a new life. Yesterday was his gout. The most likely scenario that I see is one where Butchie and the Lupertazzi family are in charge. They've absorbed the rest of the DeMeo family. And if still happens to recover, that would include him too. So to wrap it all up, I think the only way there would be a change in DeMeo family leadership in terms of still becoming the boss would be if Tony's gone. But in the case that Tony is gone, I think the Lupertazzi family would absorb the rest of the DeMeo family. In classic Sopranos fashion, there's no clear answer. Finally, what do you think? We don't know. It's an opinion. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this latest Sopranos hypothetical. Let me know what you think.